Hey everybody, happy Thursday. I hope you are doing well. If you're anything like me with the holidays coming up, you are looking forward to some well-deserved days off as well as trying to figure out how many books you can cram in into those days off and what you should be reading. Thankfully, there are some amazing reads coming out this month that you will not want to miss. So you will have plenty to keep you busy or just to add to your ever-growing TBR like mine. is Read Between the Lines by Rachel Lacey. This is not a new author, but she is new to me and I am very excited to read her book. This contemporary enemies to lovers sounds adorable. After I read the copy, I got very big like you've got male vibes. If anybody gets that reference, Tom Hanks, Meg Ryan, adorable movie if you haven't watched it. In any case, this seems very on par with that, only it's authors in addition to bookstore owners. So you're just getting book vibes everywhere as well as it's an FF romance which is always phenomenal to see. This book actually came out on December 1st, so if it sounds awesome to you, you can go grab it today, and it's in KU if that's something you subscribe to. Next is The Last She by H.J. Nelson. This was actually a book that originally came out on Wattpad and did so phenomenally well that they're now releasing it in hardcover. It is awesome to see that happen. Huge congratulations to this author and to the readers that supported her to get her to that next step in her publishing career. The last she tells the story of a young woman who is the only female to survive a devastating virus. Yes, it does have virus and plague vibes, so if that's something that you're tired of, don't want to read about, maybe just skip this one. I don't blame you. Anyway, after her father dies, she ventures out determined to continue his mission to go back to the beginning, find out what happened, and stop the plague. But of course, nothing is ever as it seems. This book hits all of my buttons. It's post-apocalyptic. It's got a really strong heroine. It's got action and romance. I am all in and I am super excited to read it. And it came out on December 7th, so this is also one that you can go grab now. Next is The Liar's Knot by M.A. Carrick. The Liar's Knot is actually book two in the Rook and the Rose series. I hadn't heard about this until coming across book two, but now that I've read the copy of both, I'm super excited to check them out. The main character, a con artist and a thief, has has decided to lie her way into one of the city's noble houses to set her and her sister up for life. But of course, nothing is ever that simple with politics and magic and mayhem and romance of all shapes and sizes. This series is bound to be fabulous. And while I love getting in on the ground floor of a series, knowing about it months before it's coming out and waiting in anticipation, there is also something to be said for finding a series sort of later down the road, because now I know I can dive in and enjoy book one and immediately jump to book two. I'm doing this December New Reads Recommends a little bit later in the month than I normally do because of all of my NaNoWriMo videos. So this book also has already come out. So if you are looking to start your holiday a little bit earlier, you can already dive in. Last but not least is Jock Romeo by Sarah Nay. I am a massive fan of Sarah Nay. When the big boom of new adult slash contemporary romance happened a few years ago, one of my absolute favorite tropes to read, but also one of the hardest, I think, to pull off was the college romance trope. Sarah Nay is one of the authors that I thought did the best job of balancing both the romance story arc as well as showing sort of college life, or at least the sort of quintessential idyllic college life that we all love to imagine when we're reading. So anytime she comes out with a new story like this, I am always on board and Jock Romeo is no exception. What is sure to be a sweet and very sexy romance, this story is a friends to lovers fake dating story about two people really trying to find themselves and buck against expectations as of course they also fall in love. And Jock Romeo actually comes out today. So really, I've just given you a list of books that you can already check out you can finish them before Christmas and then you can dive into a whole new list of stuff once we get to the holidays. Are there any other books coming out this month that I've missed that you are excited about that I should check out and add to my own TBR? What are you planning on reading this month? Don't hesitate to let me know in the comments. If you really liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel and then you'll know every time a new video comes up. Otherwise, until next week, keep reading.